Michelin, a better way forward. On the menu of this stage 12 between Fiambala in Argentina and Copiapo in Chile, 319 km of special stage and almost 400 of link section. With a high altitude, the contestants and their engines were expected to suffer a start very early in the morning and a ride at more than 4,500 meters with rocks and then dunes was the perfect mix for a lively scenario. The last teams to arrive at the bivouac might finish Friday morning. First thing first, today's stage was successful for Robbie Gordon. The Americans started this special at full throttle. The Hummer pilot was declared winner yesterday after he reached the checkpoint one in top position and he intended to accumulate stage wins until Saturday in order to make up for his poor overall ranking. Gordon is six hours behind the GC leader. Halfway to the finish line, he was in the lead, followed closely until the first checkpoint by Galin Chichry. The Frenchman was then forced to stop at kilometer 120 because of a steering problem and lost several minutes. Few changes at the finish line, Roby Gordon has been the fastest for a while, but Nanny Roma stopped to the arrival and was clocked four minutes faster than the American second in the end. Genial de Villiers took the third place of the stage, ahead of Peter Ansel. The Frenchman lost a little time to his pursuers, but still benefits of an almost 50-minute lead over de Villiers and Nanny Roma is more than one hour and a half adrift. In the bike section, several riders got in the lead today. First, Italy's Alessandro Buturi called the shots before he got to kilometer 155 and lost his way, a typical Dakar misfortune. As a result, he went on a seven kilometer detour that was enough for Barreda to take the lead. Not for long, actually, as 50 kilometers later, the Spaniard also went on a wrong track too far south. Bereda lost his lead and the new man in command was Ruben Faria, an experienced biker who has serious navigation skills. The Portuguese stands at the second position of the GC for a reason, only 13 minutes behind Depre. Depre, who didn't have to boost his pace, the title holder knows that with a 13-minute lead two days to the arrival, he's in a good position and would rather be safe than sorry. In this kind of stage, there are always surprises, and in the end, the fastest to Copiapo was Franz Beroven, Depre's former teammate. The Dutch gets in ahead of Faria and Joan Barreda. Depre loses 7 minutes 37 seconds to Faria. Tonight, he's 5 minutes 39 seconds ahead. 